I received a phone call from a friend at about midnight on August 3rd about a horse that was laying in the middle of the road in Dog Patch, which is an area south of Tucson that people dump their animals and it's, there's a lot of trash. We picked her up. I contacted Thomas Suttler because he had my trailer and we drove to Dog Patch and found Angelique and she was being held by our two friends that had contacted me. She loaded right in the trailer, but it was obvious that she was very thin and she had a, a serious wound on her back hindquarter as well as her whole face was scraped up. It appeared that she had been dragged, but it's hard to tell. She may have been hit by a car, we're not sure. So we brought her to the ranch and we gave her food and water. And the next day we contacted Adobe Veterinary Center and they came and did a, an exam on her and realized how severe that wound was. It covered most of her hindquarter and it was just raw muscle once they debrided it and cleaned it. Angelique was here for about two and a half weeks in Adobe Veterinary Center. The veterinarians are phenomenal there as well, came almost every day to help debride her and keep her clean and we treated her wound every day until they told us that, that it was probably in her best interest to take her up to Gilbert to the equine a surgical center that is one of the best hospitals in Arizona. Angelique's been here I think approximately three weeks. She was very thin when she got here. She had apparently been not getting enough groceries from where she came from and behaviorally she was very skittish and afraid, tentative about everything, hard, hard to be around really without sedating her to do very much. She had a severe, very large wound over her stifle joint area. There was quite a bit of necrotic tissue that was damaged and needed to be removed. She had a big pressure sore or a big injury over the, the point of her hip up by her tuber coxy, and we also addressed that. On her arrival, we first put her under general anesthesia. She was very uncomfortable when you tried to do anything with the wound, so we put her under general anesthesia, laid her down, and removed all the necrotic and dying tissue at the time. So some of it was dead skin, some of it was dead muscle, dead tendons type tissue that we removed. And then since then, we've just been continuing to clean the wound daily, remove additional dead tissue as we were able. Currently, the wound is healthy. All the tissue in the wound is healthy. It's got a nice bed of granulation tissue in the wound and the wound is contracting, meaning the skin is coming in around uh, to close up the wound. She's mostly been just on antibiotics initially and pain medication, we've used anti-inflammatory phenobutazone. Now she's really off all medication. She's comfortable walking. The wound had a lot of deep pockets and crevices in it when it first came, and now it's a solid, solid bed of tissue that's very healthy. So we're pleased with the progress. Over her time here, she's calmed down considerably, getting used to being with people, and I think enjoys being here. After five and a half weeks of being up in Gilbert at the Equine Hospital, Angelique is home. She's put on some weight. I think she's gained maybe 250, 300 pounds at this point. We keep food in front of her at all times. We want to make sure she continues that weight gain. Her leg is healing quite nicely, and we're seeing a big difference in her attitude. I think when she's all healed, she's going to be a handful. She has a lot of energy, and her eyes are, are so sparkly that it just warms my heart that she's come such a long way.